What's up everybody, it's your boy Saucy Shane. You see the crate out? If you're new to the game, it's time for a surprise sample pull. So I'm gonna close my eyes, pull a one ounce sample out of the crate, pour it in the glass, see what we got, and then we'll reveal it at the end. So without further ado, let me close my eyes. We'll get to, I don't know why I put two hands in there. We only need one to pull the sample. So here we go. Get it out of here. Find my glass. That part always scares me. Back here, blah, blah. All right, out of sight, out of mind. Let's get the crate out of here. All right, so like I said, if you knew the game, it's a surprise sample pool. We got one ounce samples in the sample crate here. A lot of people do it. No rocket science to it. We're gonna see what we got. A lot of these samples that's in here, I've never had before, so it's a fun way to do this. I will say, off the bat, it's a nice looking color. And check out, speaking of nice, that awesome 21090 Patreon glass. Guys, I haven't done this in a while, but be sure and check out the links in the description box below for my guys, Todd and Andy at 21090, their YouTube channel, and their awesome Patreon group. They got Barrel Peaks coming, one of the first ever from a YouTube influencer, or probably the first ever single barrel that I know of from Still Austin. Be sure and join up their Patreon group, group and you'll get you a Glen Cairns, some t-shirts, awesome merch. They do a giveaway every Tuesday night. This video is coming out on Tuesday, so that's why I picked this Glen Karen for the review. So please go show my guys some love. They give a, do a giveaway every week and they're awesome supporters. Everything beer, bourbon, rock and roll, you won't be disappointed. So let's get into this review of this blind sample pool. Awesome looking color. Let's get it on the nose. Mm. It would appear to me that I have drawn a rye out of this group. I'm not going to think of too hard of what kind of ryes I got in this sample pool. A lot of, I got a, quite a few. And some that I've had for a while. So it's about time I pulled one. I've had some troubles with these sample videos here lately. The ones that I've got up, I feel like you guys enjoy it. I love doing these kind of videos. It's a fun way to do them. So hopefully this works out pretty good. So let's get it one more time here on the nose. I'm getting a little bit of ethanol burn to it, but a minty, nice, fresh rye spice is coming out of there on the nose. A little bit of soft vanilla. A little oak. It's a well-balanced nose. Not overly sweet. Got a lot of good balance of the rye spice and the sweetness. But like I say, we don't just smell it around here. We taste it too. Let's get it on the palate. Mm. Great mouthfeel on that. Definitely a rye. If it's not a rye, I'm hanging my hat up. I'm just kidding. A lot of clove spice, soft vanillas on the palate, just like I got on the nose. It's a note there that I'm searching for. Let's get a second sip, let it acclimate. Mm. Oh, that little bit of milk chocolate. Oh man, that's nice. That vanilla is there, a little bit of toffee. Sweet oak. I think maybe. Hmm, I don't know. Let's get a third sip. Great mouthfeel up front. There's a note up front that's that's throwing me off. It's got that nice milk chocolate. I think what it is. like a raisin like a raisin cream pie a little Debbie raisin cream pie maybe if it was covered in chocolate mm. sorry about the smacking but that thing is savory it is salivating a lot of good rye spice on the finish speaking of 21090 my brother Todd he loves a good sweet and spicy bourbon or rye this one hits the spot I'm gonna give it one more sip we're gonna rank this bad boy Mm. 
before I rank it, I'm gonna try to guess the proof on it. I'm gonna say it's right around 115 proof. The age being a rye, it's kind of hard to, to tell. I'd say it's about, I'm gonna try to nail it on the head and see if I can guess what it is. Seven year, maybe this is an old Ezra rye, barrel proof rye that come out this year. Get another sip. It's got a great finish. The first thing it hits you off the front is a good viscous mouthfeel. Soft vanilla creams, like I said, it's a raisin cream pie with some milk chocolate, clove, rye spice on the finish. It's delicious. It's gonna get a score of 8.5 for me. Let's see what this bad boy is. I mean, it's old Ezra rye, seven year, 114 proof. See if my camera, if I can work it, get this camera to focus in. We'll see. It is a phone we're dealing with. Man, that's a sample of my good buddy Will locally here. One of my best friends. Man, I tell you what, old Ezra 7 Rye. I hadn't seen it locally here, but when we was in va in, on vacation in South Carolina, I did pick up a bottle right down the road from where we were staying at Hilton Head. And uh, I think I paid like $66 for the bottle. Awesome score. That's a great rye. Old Ezra 7 rye, 114 proof. I think it said 115, I can't remember. Nailed this one. Guys, man, I'm back at it. These sample pools are very hard. I kind of know what I got in here, but a lot of them I don't know. Nailed that one. I'm very proud of myself. If you like this kind of content, smash that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We got a lot of videos coming, bottle reviews, got a lot of these sample reviews coming. If you got some samples you want to send me, hit me up. Uh, my email's in the about page, so check me out. You guys, like always, thanks for watching. Remember, stay safe out there, and until next time, stay saucy, but don't get too saucy. Drink responsibly, share with friends. Cheers. Keep rocking. Check those links in the description box below.